Today, my team and I will be sharing some powerful insights. Well, they basically told us what is an issue that you really find concerning in Cayman and think of a way you can fix it. Listening to this 15-year-old from Grace Christian Academy talk about the Minds Inspired SDG Interschool Challenge, well, it's easy to see why her team took top prize. Our winner was Grace Christian Academy. of the transportation in Cayman, how it's unreliable at the moment. So once we thought of that idea, we really started to build on it and grow on it. The SDD Challenge is a United Nations initiative to promote ideas aimed at addressing issues like poverty, inequality, and climate change, ideas that will directly help local communities. What we sort of want this program to do is give young people a voice. Um, to help them understand that, you know, some of these decisions are not easy to make. Their innovative solution? Use technology to help reduce the use of personal cars, thereby migrating traffic and lowering carbon emissions. We came up with a public bus tracking application where you could see the routes of all public buses in Cayman. So you would just open the app and you would be able to see it there. You click um, a button and it says which route you want to take and it shows you the nearest available buses. It's a lot easier for people who are standing on the side of the road to see, oh, is a bus coming my way? And they called it bus 345 because 345 is very Caymanian. But snappy names alone are not enough. We wanted to work on, an, on a solution which is very feasible and doable, not just like proposing an idea, but also showing like it is achievable. So to demonstrate that, the students collected real-world data, surveying hundreds of passengers and public bus drivers. I won't say it's easy because there's a lot you have to do. You have to go out into the community and talk to people, but it really gives you a lot of engagement hearing from all the different people what their experiences on the buses are. They didn't stop there. They even worked on a prototype, put together a cost analysis, and made a killer presentation for the judges, and then presented presented those ideas once again to government. They went through the whole process, identifying the problem, finding a solution, and presenting it in front of the ministry. So they got through the whole process, and that was an amazing experience for them, I believe. Congratulations to Grace Christian Academy, the Cayman First Classroom of the Month.